good morning listeners and welcome to the trade talk podcast let's start with global markets asian stocks aged lower as the mid east conflict intensified over the weekend us and european futures aged small gains the global macros have turned negative for us as the crude is at 91 dollars per barrel from the levels of 87 and the bond yield is back to 4.65%. However, as the result season has started, the market will give more weightage to the quarterly performance of the companies and will react to geopolitical developments. So on overnight basis, geopolitical developments will play a major role. Now if we go through with the setup of our markets, then on Friday we saw strong comeback uh from lower levels uh from uh, almost 19630 levels uh the market managed to even surpass the level of 19800 but uh, because of the overnight risk we saw some profit taking towards the end and market closed at 19735 today we may see further more weakness as the gift nifty is down and asian markets are trading lower but around 19630 635 the market is having excellent support Uh, below that if we see the market is dropping then the next level to watch out for would be 19570 there the market is having next leg of support zone and our strategy should be to look for adding positions between 19570 to 19470 levels uh, with a stop loss at 19400 Uh, we are expecting market to uh, remain into this corrective pattern and um, volatile activity is not ruled out and that's the reason we need to take some contra bets if the market falls to 19570 580 levels for the bank nifty 44200 will be the support zone below that we can expect weakness up to 43800 and on the higher side 44800 is the level above which we can expect technical breakout We are of the view that Bank Nifty is on the verge of crossing forty-four thousand eight hundred in the near term, and um, again, if there is any correction, then close to forty-four thousand three hundred, we should be a buyer in the market. Now, if we go through with the Nifty IT index, then there thirty-one thousand four hundred is going to act as major support. Below that, we are expecting further more weakness up to thirty-one thousand or thirty thousand seven hundred. So around thirty thousand seven hundred or eight hundred levels, Nifty IT is having excellent support, and there we can look for adding some large cap companies with a medium term view. Apart from that, if we go through with the large cap stocks like Reliance Industries or HDFC Bank, then there uh, we are seeing some sideways sort of activity. Both the stocks are not participating in the up move. Whenever there is a recovery in the market, Reliance was at twenty three fifty on Friday, which was just below the uh, level of twenty day simple moving average, and we are expecting stock to remain in a range of twenty three seventy five. and 2300 on the downside uh, below 2300 we are expecting stock to fall to 20 to 50 levels but about 2375 we are expecting some short covering uh, so that's the overall pattern for reliance industries for hdfc bank there also we feel that it is like um, finding lot of resistance close to 1550 1560 above 1560 we are expecting stock to move towards 1600 levels where it has left a bearish gap but below 1520 we are expecting stock to uh, move back to the levels of 1500 and and in the worst case scenario 1470 so these are the levels for hdfc bank as well as reliance industries that's all from my side with this i'm ending today's morning podcast thank you very much for listening me have a great day to all of you